presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, the difference between internal key and external key when you're using Blackmagic Design hardware for Alpha Channels and Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've ever wondered uh, what are the circumstances where you'd use internal versus external and you've got the Blackmagic hardware, uh, go ahead, like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Okay, so this is something that I didn't know for years and years. And I don't believe anyone else has addressed this in video form. So it's been on my list for a while, and I thought that I'd finally uh, get around to it. So let's head over to my computer, and we'll start with the basic setup that I recommend for most people, and then I'll give you the heads up on why you would do the other way. So here we are in ProPresenter, and if we go to, uh, well, first off, let me go ahead and select something to show. Um, if I were to put this on, notice that I've got words here. Um, this is using the regular external key, using a Decklink Duo 2. A Quad 2 would also work. The Ultra Studio HD Mini would also work, etc. So, uh, depending on the computer, by the way. Some of those aren't compatible, but anyway. So you'll notice as I mouse underneath here that this is translucent. So it's not just removing black. It's not just removing green. It's actually a true alpha key. So this is translucent. You can see a couple of these hot key letters under there. So it's got black here so that it separates. It's got white to further separate that from the background. And it's just a nice key quite frankly. So I'm to do that, I am currently running this through my, um, I'm running this through my Decklink Duo 2 Pro Presenter and my um, video switcher, which is uh, an ATEM Television Studio HD video switcher. So those are the different things that I'm running it through in order to work with this. Let me turn this off so that you can see the setup here. Uh, first off, I go into System Preferences. And this is on the Mac. It's different on Windows. But you will have uh, the desktop video software, which I'll need to drag over so that you can see it. So this is the desktop video software. So it's seeing my Decklink Duo uh, 2. That's what it is right there, Decklink Duo 2. And it's saying uh, connector 1 here and connector 2, connector 3, and connector 4. Now you'll notice the connector 3 doesn't have anything listed. And the reason for that is because it's in fact married to connector 1. So we've got five connectors here. One is for reference. The um, bottom most one, that guy right there. And then these other two are counterintuitively numbered 1, 3, 2, 4. I believe I'm right on that. Nope. It's bottom to top. 1, 3, 2, 4. So 1 and 2 by default are married together. 2 and 4 are married together for alpha output 1 and alpha output 2. But you can separate those uh, and what I do is I've got number 4 is an input and 
number uh, two here is an output that I'm using for this guy. So I'm using one and three for alpha. So if we go back, you know, don't need that anymore. If we go to screens and then configure screens. And I go to my alpha output. Notice Decklink Duo 1 is alpha output number 1. And since those are married together, I have this tab right here. And I have it set to enable. And I have it set to external key and blend all the way up. And when I run that through my Blackmagic switcher and I have... Um, one of those set to key, one of them set to fill, um, then it does what I showed you earlier, this. But what if I were to set this to internal key? Now let me go ahead and put that back up and notice all the black went away. So why would I ever want to use internal key instead of external key? Well, the way that I remember this is internal means inside the card and external means outside the card. So um, with an external key, which is the way I would normally do this, this does take up two inputs on my video switcher. Since I have eight with the ATEM Television Studio HD, that's not a huge deal. But if I had an ATEM uh, Mini uh, and or a Mini Pro or a Mini Pro ISO, maybe half of those inputs, that's just too many. So what I could do is I could come out of the video switcher, go into the deck link card, and then back out of the deck link card wherever I wanted to send the video signal. So in order to do that, instead of having it wired up the way that I had it wired up, I have to wire it up a little bit differently. So I'm going to wander over here um, to my um, to the back of my uh, deck link duo and show you exactly how I'm going to do this. So this is going to be a little jumpy as I'm holding my phone to do this. But let's head over there and look at this. So I've gone ahead and rewired this to make this work. Um, the way that I've done that is in connector number one right here. So the one right above the reference, connector number one, normally the key, that actually gets the uh, video input from the switcher. So I'm going to double check that I'm remembering that correctly. Yes, it is. So that's the video input from the switcher. And this goes out to wherever you're sending it. So the video input comes in here and then it goes right back out. This is the way that it looks in my aux monitor. So it looks just as good. The only problem is that um, I don't have control of it with my switcher. I only have control of it with ProPresenter itself. So now that's how to bypass a video switcher um, entirely and use the built-in keying capability of a deck link card or an ultra studio box um, not the ultra studio monitor but uh, a regular ultra studio box in order to 
key with alpha with ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, so head on over to tvm.fyi slash pro, the number 7, and then quick. Give me your name and email address, and I'll go ahead and create a login for you. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.